Thank you for tuning in to Rowdy Cards TV on RowdyCards.com. I'm your host, Patrick Greeno, and this is my buddy, Dan. How's hey, it going, Dan? Pat? Hey, it's going well. How are you? Doing well. All right. What'd you bring for us today? Um, so I was shopping at the local card shop yesterday, and I noticed that he had two cards. Um, they're 2013 Topps Chrome Purple Refractors. Uh, and so one of Mike Trout and one of Clayton Kershaw. Mm. So I picked up the two. Good. Um, but they're just cool looking cards. I mean, I think they're really kind of pretty. Right. And, uh, you know, you can't go wrong with trout. Can't go wrong with trout. Especially the early trout stuff. Yeah, so. and this is kind of early, sort of, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, trout stuff's interesting because it almost seems like no matter what parallel I get at any year, it sells really well. Really well. Yeah. And this was priced very well. Yeah. So I was like, sure, I mean, why not? So Why not? Yeah, I mean, it's a little OC. Top to bottom, I guess in Chrome this case like it that, would though. be yeah, left to right. But um, you know, I thought it was really cool. So yeah, I just went ahead and bought him. That's good, and that was from a gift card that you had gotten for your birthday. Yeah, yeah. He just he just had a birthday. Forty four years old. Happy birthday, Thanks, Dan! Man. You're welcome. <laughs> um, I hope it's a great year for you. Yeah, it's been a rough one to start. So I, we'll <laughs> see. He's had some rough luck with <laughs> yeah. things. Um, man, I'm glad you got that. Yeah, I don't have. You know, I, I oh, at one point that. had a trout card, mm-hmm. and I sold it. It was just some insert of something that was kind of generic from a couple of years ago. And I'd, I'd be more interested in getting something like this, but I just right. haven't put any money or time into looking, scouting something of his that I'd, I'd want to buy outside of his rookie card. Right. So, so I, I don't really actively go looking for his stuff. Right. Um, but when I come across it and it's priced well, right. I usually pick it up. You can grab it, sure. Yeah. I like this stuff. It's cool. It's like basic, no game use, no autograph. It's mm-hmm. got the All-Star Rookie Trophy on it. It's nice. Yeah. It's a cool card. And he introduces the set. He's card number one. Right. So that's pretty rad. Did you buy any product this year when it came out? Um, I, I'm going to be honest. I don't remember. Mm-hmm. I, I probably did, mm-hmm. but I don't know for a fact. Sure. I mean, there's just so many products that come out, it's kind of hard to keep track, yeah. especially going back, um, what is that, six years? Yeah. So, yeah, man. I'm, I'm sure I've got some of it someplace. Hard to believe 2013 <laughs> was six years ago, man. Yeah, I know. I remember just like yesterday. I just remember yeah. that year just like it was yesterday. Right. I mean, I, I'm. I, it kind of blows my mind because it moves so fast. I mean, it seemed like it was literally just yesterday that, you know, people are chasing down Otani's 2018 stuff. and May, last May. Yeah, 2019 Huge. tops already came out. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, we talked about Otani in a, in a, in a recent podcast that he had. Uh, he has over 3,000 cards in 2018. Oh, my gosh. That's I, I can't think of another player who has that many. I looked at Judge, and he's, like, above 2,000. Right. You know, Strasburg is, like, 330. You know, right. so it's, like, the more hyped somebody is, you expect to see a lot of product. Right. Um, I don't even think Trout has that many cards in 2011 no you know it just i mean it was thousands and thousands of cards yeah i think tops really milked that one <laughs> and every time he turned around there was a new tops now right tops on demand something yeah. like that it yeah. seemed that it was just like every was it you that was telling me that every week a product was released in 2018 every single week uh i don't think that was me but i wouldn't doubt it it's like every time i turned around there was a new crop of frank thomas cards yeah. autographed or whatever in the market and i I, I just made it a point not to worry about it so much anymore. <laughs> so, yeah, this is cool, man. I, I like these parallels. There are quite a few different ones for 2013 Chrome like they are with all yeah. the different Chrome products. Are you going to try to get other versions of this card? Probably not. I no. mean, if they're there, and like yeah. I said, the right price, then right. maybe. I mean, the, the was it the orange refractor? Sure. Those, I think those are numbered to 25. Well, it depends on what year you're talking about. In 2010, yes. In 2011, no, they were like a common refractor. Well, 2013, though. I'd have to look at it. I think, it might be... I think it's short printed. Okay, because in... the, the 2011 uh, orange refractors, they went the other way. It was like base refractor, and then the next common one was the orange refractor. Right. And then the next one was like the purple, which was like hundreds or whatever, and mm-hmm. then it was blue. So orange t- took on a different meaning in 2011 mm-hmm. than it did in uh, 2010 when an orange refractor was to 25. Right. And I don't know if that's the case with 2013. It might be. That it's a common or a rare, I don't know what the. Yeah, I'd have I to think look into I think it. they're a little rarer, but I, I mean, I could totally be wrong. I didn't sure. pay a whole lot of attention to them. Yeah, so. I know they started doing red and then pink, and it got kind of confusing without looking at the serial number. Right. I know that uh, that that started up to sort of crop up in 2013. Yeah. That's when 
Bowman paper parallels became uh, ambitious because they started doing all these different wave colors. Right. So that's when it started to get kind of gnarly with minis and everything else. Mm-hmm. Um, but glad you brought that by. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, man. So in 2018, I went to the National, and it was like day five. I had run into a dealer I'd, I'd, I'd dealt with before. Actually, you and I, had, we dealt with him. He's in Florida. Really nice guy, cool to deal with, great great personality. Um, he has really nice things, mm-hmm. great 90s inserts, great bargain bins, cool prices, just awesome guy to work with. Um, and he had a card in his showcase, and I was like, oh, my gosh. You know, I always wanted to see this card, and it was like, oh, I didn't take a you know, picture of it. Mm-hmm. I was like, I had 200 bucks left over, and I was like, I was like, dude, I'll give you 200 bucks. It's all I've got left for this card. He's like, no, man, I'm gonna try to get more for. It. I was like, okay, well, can I take a picture? He's like, let me take a picture of it, and I added it to the gallery. Uh, it's either on day four or day five of the 2018 show, but you'll see it there in one of the galleries. This card, it's the 1988 tops. They 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 did a, a run of cloth experimental mm-hmm. cards. They're made out of cloth just to try it out. They're pretty rare. Um, uh, I, I've known a Conseco collector who has the Maguire Conseco card and the cloth parallel. Oh, wow. um, I've seen them, but I have not seen them in person until I saw this one at the at the National. Fast forward to about, I don't know, a month, month and a half ago, my buddy Ryan pings me. He's like, hey, check this out. And I he pulls up this. This is the, this is the card. It's the 1988... Glavin tops Glavin cloth experimental card. Now this card is interesting. I haven't taken it out of the the the, the sleeve that it came in. I got to obviously put it in a fitted sleeve and you know archive and things. I'm just kind of behind right now. But I was like, oh my gosh, that card. It reminds me of the one I saw at the national. And so I pulled up the 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 listing, mm-hmm. the blog post where I, I talked about this card and that day, and I compared the serial numbers of PSA and it's the same exact one. Oh nice. Same exact card in the, that was in the showcase. So. Uh, I, it came from, I believe, the same seller too. He still had it at the time. I paid a little over that um, for for um, the card, but I was happy to. This is one of those cards I've, I've since I saw it, I was like, I gotta get it. Mm-hmm. The centering on this card is incredible, and I, I didn't care that it was just authenticated. I was happy with. I'm happy with that. I'm not gonna crack it out and reset. It. I don't care about the grade for this card. I'm just completely happy that it it's authentic and it it's got awesome eye appeal. And um, these are pretty rare. The story behind them is that it was a tried process that was um, that wasn't adopted. They tried it and they didn't. They just didn't didn't go through for some. I don't know what the. I don't have much information on the tops cloth from '88 tops. It was a test product that they didn't. They decided not to actually produce. So it's pretty rare. Um, I can't remember how the gentleman said he acquired this. I think he acquired like a small collection of these, and this was in it. Um, but Whatever the case, I was really happy to get this card. Uh, it's one of those like top ten list for 2019 kind of things. It's nice. like that kind of thing. Like when I do my, I haven't even done my top ten list for 2018 yet. Apologize for those of you who've been waiting. I know you guys like those lists. I've just been really behind um, on some of the museum stuff lately, but we'll, we'll get that out at some point. So really happy to to add the Tom Glavin from uh, 88 Tops cloth. Now this is an interesting card because. It's the most significant card in the 88 top set, mm-hmm. but it's also the year that I started collecting baseball cards. Oh, nice. So 88 was like a, it's sort of a pivotal time for me um, in card collecting, and so I was glad to get maybe the most important version of the card. Right. Tiffany's really important too, uh, but the cloth, I feel, is just such a superior example. To, of, can I take a look at uh, it? Yeah, you sure can. Such a superior version of the card in, in such a elusive, very rare way. I was really happy to get that. Just just an awesome, awesome ad. I don't see too many of these. I think, like I said, I think this is the first one I'd ever seen at a show, like, in person. You know, they're blank-backed. Yeah. And so they're just, show the you back can see there. the back there. It's just standard white because um, it's cloth. I've never touched these in person, like, in hand. I've never touched the actual material. I'd assume it's, like, what you'd expect it to be. But I don't know. I'm glad it's housed in a PSA slab, though. It's right. really cool. It's one of the new lighthouse hologram ones yeah, that's cool they're really pretty i like those cases a lot mm-hmm. i've always liked the psa cases though they're thin efficient you know i agree i'm just a fan uh, the bgs cases are great too in their own right they're you know real real sturdy but psa cases i think for something like this just really works quite a bit so i was really happy to get this in the archive it's been pretty um mellow 
this year for acquisitions, but it's been a really good year so far for this reason. Mm -hmm. um, and miscellaneous other things I've acquired. So I've really been happy about that. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, man. I mean, the, the Topps Cloth stuff's interesting. And I don't think Topps did it any other year. I think it was just 88. Don't quote me on that. I, I just, I haven't, I, I can't, off the top of my head, I can't think of a, a, a version of like 87 or 89 right. that was run this way. Do you have any idea how many they may have made? Gosh, that's a good question, man. I don't know. I know that because the t total yield of 88 tops is so many, mm -hmm. I would anticipate that these are around, but I don't see them frequently. Like I, the only other copy I saw when I was looking, I saw this one online where there was one that had sold to BGS 9.5 for like 400 bucks. Okay. They're the same card? Yeah. And that's the cloth of this mm -hmm. exact card. I was like, well, if I kept track of them, I bet I could come across more, but I, these are just quite a bit less abundant than, right. than the Tiffany even. And so, and the Tiffany's in the thousands. Right. And so hundreds i don't know what the it could be less i don't know what the thing is i don't know how rare they are i mean you talk about hundreds and 88 product that's a small number right um but i if it's a test you know we know tests in the 90s that are like assumed to be print runs of 10 right so this could be less than 100 i don't know what the thing is i just never see them and if i never see them at shows and i've been to many many shows um i mean that says something right you know but to what degree? I, hands up. I, I don't. I don't think it's in the four figures. I, I would. I would feel maybe confident in assuming it's somewhere in the two to three figures. But to to what extent? I really don't know. No, it's cool. It's really yeah. cool. So there you have it. This is the '88 Tops Cloth Experimental Tom Glavin Rookie Card, Rookie Cloth. Nice. <laughs> RC. Yeah. So there you have it, Danny. Any final thoughts? No, I'm good. Yeah? Thanks for coming over. Yeah, thanks for having me. Awesome, awesome. Thanks for tuning in to Radicars TV on Radicars.com. I'm your host, Patrick Greeno. Thank you, Dan, for joining us. Sure. And until next time, enjoy collecting. Take care. If you like this content, please subscribe. Thank you. Enjoy collecting.